Alright guys, and welcome back to a little news update video with Leaf. Welcome everyone back to the channel. So, a little bit of small news today, a little bit more of a roadmap if you will. Uh, Planet Zoo just released this cute little tweet, um, talking about Planet Zookeeper Steve, why not join me as an intern as I get ready for the conservation pack and the to-do list. So this is going to be very interesting, because I'm not sure if this is going to be in chronological order, but this is going to be very interesting because this is about the third or fourth time that they've actually laid out the roadmap for the reveals, and I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic going forward. I know a lot of us have kind of complained about the polls that they would put out before, specifically with the Africa pack and aquatic pack always people choosing to see whatever headliner animal that we already saw in the trailer first but this is going to be a lot better as we can finally see that they're kind of giving us a little bit more of a preview into the future very much like the road trip from the north america pack as well as you know some of the other ones that don't really come to mind right now so obviously we could see that we're going to get another look at the Przewalski's horses i know i'm pronouncing that wrong i don't really care right now uh, we're going to get a better look at flower scenery. Uh, we're going to see the new enrichment item with the scimitar horned oryx. We're going to see the new gutters that come into play. Axolotl, we'll get a view of him. We're going to see the tool storage, Amor Leopard, and not just the leopard, but the juvenile as well, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, we're going to see what kind of new food items that they're going to have for lunch. Maybe these could kind of correspond with the rest of the counters that we did not get within the last restaurant update. Uh, we're also going to see the safety of the Simon climbing frame, so that's going to be really awesome just to see how much more versatile that climbing frame will be. And we're also going to see the animal statues that, as always, come with rewards as um, DLC as well as the other ones that they already have in game. Now, speaking of those statues guttering and everything else, my good buddy Just Goron actually put together this lovely little Excel sheet about all the new scenery that he was able, along with Bronation, to piece together. And I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic. I should always get rid of that. I noticed I was in like the corner of my video the last time around, so I should probably stop doing that. But either way, they were able to find around 63 or a little bit more than that because of course some of these have variations and stuff like that but of course we have the fig trees and the korean palm trees uh actually i think that's a pine i'm sorry uh the new tree over here that is absolutely drop dead gorgeous we're getting a new light fixture over here this very much reminds me of those zoo tycoon 2 basking lamps uh we also have the top of that wall i don't know what that is but that looks funky there's also this kind of like 3d printed wall that everyone is going absolutely insane over very excited about about that and we also get some more siamang signs these are going to be wicked awesome to play with we can see that there's already one two and three different variations which i love that is such a highlight from the wetlands dlc having all these different variations of animal signs especially for the capybara in particular i can't wait to see what else we get over there we also have this kind of grass. It's kind of like dead grass over there. I think that's going to be wicked fun. This is getting me very excited, though. I know so many of my realistic builder friends oftentimes would sink the tap hose into the wall and it would still kind of jut out. I'm very excited to finally be getting a normal hose that I could actually stick on the edge of my building. So that's great. We also have some more statues and signs over here. Goron, you have such an eye for this. We have ladybug decal. We have some more sunflowers. I think these are bees. Yeah, I think that's right. That's awesome. Then we also have some hanging baskets. Uh, again, the new concrete set. That's going to be wicked awesome. That's about 32 pieces out of the uh, 150 that they're promising us. So that's going to be very interesting. We have these new grass panels. They're very much like the ones from the aquatic pack. These may be flexi color. Uh, these may be the flexi color poppies, but we're not entirely sure. Uh, we also have the Siamang statues. These are absolutely adorable. I love those. Uh, obviously, new trees and a new drain. That's going to be extremely useful for some realism. We have our first look at the axolotl sign over there. We have pumpkins, leopards, rakes, wheelbarrows, boxes, vents, sus. 
you know how it all is. This is all going to be extremely useful and extremely awesome to start playing with. So, of course, we're going to keep you guys posted as we kind of make our way through this little road trip. Again, look at all these beautiful flowers. I'm so excited to get those down the line. But still, all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and I can't wait to see you all in the next little update. So take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.